Voilà. Il y a eu peur parce que beaucoup d'hommes sont morts. Les rebelles, les rebelles sont venus dans notre village pour venir brûler notre maison, notre campement. Est-ce que c'était difficile pour venir ici? Très, 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 très difficile. Pour venir pour des enfants qui sont assis, qui n'ont jamais connu cette histoire, assis chez eux à la maison, peinant à regarder la télévision, euh, 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 être à l'aise, entouré de l'amour paternel, maternel. Et brusquement, on suit des gens qu'on ne connaît même pas. Et en, en, derrière nous, les petits, et puis on, les gens disent courez, courez. Il y a plein d'enfants de, sans chaussures dans la forêt, dans la nuit. C'est très difficile. But in those communities where the refugees arrived recently, children are living in their conditions. Some of them sleep on the floor, some of them sleep outside, some of them have problems getting food, some of them have problems getting clean water to drink. Many of them don't go to school. The problems are many. Plans emergency response is to help the, the children, first of all, and the youths and their families to regain normal life. And one of the things that we think will contribute to the normal life of children is for them to be in school, or to, for them to be playing, for them to be living, having fun in the villages as they used to have in their communities. We are here for children, you know, most of the children have been confronted to violence and they have been wandering in the bush for weeks, nothing to eat, and they came very weak. Now they are laughing, they are playing, they are together with Liberian children. We are receiving children from one to six year old children here. We are learning them to play. Most of them are playing and also they are learning some great uh, things. We're taking them from their parents so their parents can go farm work and also find food in the community to take care of these children. What we're doing in primary education, we, we hire some uh, teachers in the Ivorian refugee community and also we train them so they're at the moment they're trying to provide courses to these children who are in the Cote d'Ivoire uh, education system. We have about 6,800 to 7,000 children, refugee children, presently benefiting directly from our support. When children are idle, they become very vulnerable to, for recruitment as child soldiers. When girls are idle and living among boys and, and bigger men, they become very vulnerable to abuse. So for us, one of the key ways of getting these children protected from abuse and exploitation is putting them in school, letting them get education, and letting them have fun and playing with each other. For us, that is very important. They should learn to live together. They should learn to, to they should be educated, and they should be living in normal lives. <laughs> Nous pouvons partout bien, nous pouvons rester.